Hello guys, I'm Alexander, as most of you know me, here on Facebook, and I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. Um, I've been noticing that there has been an increase in baseball bat violence. According to the FBI, it is the number one, number one weapon used in violent crimes. This is ridiculous. Too many people are getting hurt with baseball bats. I mean, come on. Why do you need a baseball bat? I mean, you play baseball with it? Okay. So what? They're used to kill people. So obviously, no one should should have a baseball bat. I mean, come on. They're used to kill people. And it's a number one weapon used in violent crimes. We should put, We should put regulations on these things. I mean, why do we need metal baseball bats for? Clearly, they're more dangerous than wood ones. You don't need a metal baseball bat to hit a baseball. You know what? So many people are getting hurt with baseball bats. I think that we should put heavier restrictions on them. In fact, the federal government should make you register your baseball bat. It should be registered in your name. Is this serious, guys? We need tougher regulations. Maybe, maybe we should limit the uh, baseball bat length. You know, make them... Harder to conceal. You know the short ones? You know the shorter baseball bats? Like the youth size models? We need to ban those guys. I mean, you could hide it under your shirt, walk over and hit somebody in the head and kill them instantly. You know, this is just ridiculous. We need we need to ban long, I mean, short baseball bats. We need to ban metal ones. And we need to ban the ones that have longer grips on them so that when you swing, it's harder to swing and you don't have as, uh, as much of a grip. Because, I mean... Too many people are getting killed with these things. This is this is ridiculous, guys. You know what? You should pay to have these things registered, too. I don't care if, if you use baseball bats for competition to play baseball with. I mean, it's obviously the number one weapon preferred by criminals to use in a violent crime. This is outrageous, guys. This is outrageous. I know millions of people, they own baseball bats. But you know what? Something's got to be done because people are getting hurt. We can't have this, guys. Anyone want to support me on this? On this legislation? I think we need to write our senators, guys. Write President Barack Obama. And we need to tell him that we're fed up with this. We're fed up with violent crime with baseball bats. And we need to do something. We need to put heavy restriction on baseball bats. I'm a firm believer in this, guys. I think all professional baseball players... They should register their baseball bats so we can we can make sure that it doesn't get in the hands of somebody who has mental problems or you know what that's what we need to do if you want to own a baseball bat it has to be of a certain length it cannot be metal it has to be wood you know what we should make it where it has to be plastic plastic baseball bat you can hit a baseball with a plastic baseball bat and I think that you need a psych evaluation in order to buy a baseball bat. In fact, you need a criminal background check. You, you shouldn't be able to walk into Walmart and just buy a baseball bat. Because then then you could... I mean, you don't even have to buy it. You can take a baseball bat from the shelf and run around the store hitting people as hard as you can in the head. This is outrageous. It's happened. It's happened. They should be locked up in a case. You should need a FBI federal background check in order to purchase one. A psych evaluation. You know, you, you should get a license to have one. So you have to pay like $200 to get a permit to have it registered in a federal database. And it, it, you can't get a short one. It's got to be like 20, you know, 50 inches long. That way you can't hide it under your shirt. You can't have extended grip tape on it. It should be short. Maybe so you can grip it with just one hand. Maybe that's what we should do. I mean, man, semi-automatic baseball bats, guys. Number one weapon used in a violent crime. Number one. People are walking... Alleyways everywhere throughout our country. People are getting robbed. Guess what they're using? A baseball bat. The threat of getting hit with a baseball bat to the head. You know how... How how many foot pounds of pressure somebody can put on somebody's skull with a baseball bat 
this is ridiculous, guys, and we need to do something about this. The government needs to, to regulate this because this is a problem. This is a very big problem, guys, and I hope that you stand with me on this because something has to be done. You know, we need to we need to take this to the news, guys. We need to call CNN. CNN will agree with us on this, guys. We really should put harsher restrictions. And and you know what? All the pro baseball bat people out there, the millions of them, you know, the baseball bat right association, you know, the BRA, we got to, you know, we just got to tell them that we won't stand for this, guys. We got to tell the BRA that you know, we we need to put these regulations and we don't care what they say about it. You know, millions of baseball bat owners throughout our country, they're going to be mad. But you know what? We need to make the rest of the people happy. The people who are, are mad of the fact that they could be walking down the street and somebody robs them with the threat of hitting them in the head with a baseball bat and instantly killing them with a blunt force blow to the head. This is very real, guys, and it happens in our streets every day. Number one. Come on. It is the number one weapon used, guys. Obviously, we have to do something about this. Obviously. Oh, my gosh. I feel so strongly about this, guys. Please write your senators. Write President Barack Obama, Joe Biden. Tell them. Tell them how you feel. We will not take this violent baseball bat thing going on in this country anymore. I mean, go online. FBI.gov. Number one weapon used. We need to do something, guys. Um, please like and share this video. I might be posting it up to YouTube. I don't know. But um, I, I think that, that we can make a difference, guys. I think we can make a difference. Thank you.